Hello, my sandpipers. Tony here. In case you forgot my name, it's been a really long time since I've seen you. Um, I'm going to do another rainbow table draw. Since it's been a while, I have to try to remember what letters we're on. I think it's M, N, and O. So let's get started, right, kiddos. So I don't really have any ideas for M, so I'm just going to talk them out and see which one I like. So, oh, squeaky table, I forgot this table squeaks. Um, if I look on this little alphabet list, there's a mouse. That might be, <laughs> should I just get the squeaking out of the way? Squeak, squeak. Um, my squeak, so that's perfect. Let's see, there's mother, there's motorcycle, there's mountains. Let's do mountains, that's pretty easy with them. So I'm going to make my mountains gray which means the M is going to be a mount, uh, gray. So I'm going to go up, down, up, down. And it's kind of fun that we're doing M today because today is Macy's fifth birthday. I hope a lot of you had fun this weekend going over to her house and seeing her. Um, let's see, my mountains. So these are going to be snow-capped mountains. So for snow, since we can't really draw with white, we can use the paper that's white. So I'm going to make a bunch of little squiggle lines to look like snow. Thinking, do I want to color this in? I kind of do. So I'm going to do my coloring where I'm just going to make some lines going down. They don't all have to touch, but it just kind of gives it some color. And we can fill in other colors or people later. This is just... And if, so I'm going to keep doing this, make all these lines. Oop, that one kind of went out, but that's okay. It's okay to color outside the lines sometimes. So now, if I go across it, so it's kind of making this crisscrossing, that's called crosshatching. So I'm going to crosshatch the mountains. So this one, the lines are going this way, so I'm going to crosshatch this way. I like how crosshatching looks. It's kind of like weaving together colors. All right, there's my two mountains. Now, I want there to be a lake by my mountains because when I picture mountains in my head, I see a lake. So my, my lake is gonna be, ooh, that marker needs to go away. Let's see, digging in the marker basket. This one's, oh yeah, that's good. So lakes are kind of rounded, and since we're not looking at, like, at it straight down, you kind of make these little bumps coming off, because then it looks like you're looking at it from the side. So I'm going to do some more of my line work. This is more like squiggling, <laughs> or scribbling, that's what it's called. I can't believe I forgot what scribbling's called. I've been away from you guys too long. Something we need to remedy. All right, got my lake going. I think I'm going to add some light blue into my lake because lakes usually aren't just one color. Neither are mountains, so maybe I'll add some into there too. And if you're from Wisconsin, a lot of our lakes have like a green tint to them. So even though we don't have mountains like this in Wisconsin, I'm going to add a little bit of green in because I think that's very lakey. This summer, are you guys going to go out on our big lake, Lake Michigan? I'm going to go paddle boarding on the river. I think that's going to be really fun. It's where you stand up on like a surfboard and just use a paddle like a canoe. It's one of my favorite things to do in the summer. All right, this lake has lots of color. I think our mountain should have a little bit more color. So, you know, I'm going to make these fun mountains and I'm going to use graphic green. They're going to be kind of a tealy. So I'm doing a little more scribble lines, but I'm gonna cross hatch those scribble lines. So I'm gonna go the other way, all the way down. This way. All right, let's make some bottoms. Snow again is just white, so I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna add a little bit of purple in my mountains because I mean, purple mountains majesty. You gotta add a little bit of purple. Oh, I think this purple's gone. I'm ready to sit through and go through all the markers. We'll use a darker purple now. That's okay. Oh my goodness. 
got three markers so far. These markers have not been used in a while, and they're showing it. Ooh, that purple's nice. I'm just going to do a little bit of purple, only one way. But you guys can do as much purple as you want. Because, again, it is your drawing. We're just doing it together. All right, and now we need some pine trees. And I have a blue spruce in my yard at my house. And it's kind of a light green with a blue kind of tint to it. But I'm going to make these really dark pine trees. So again, I'm kind of squiggling, but I'm going down one way with the lines and then I'm turning it so it goes the other way. And that makes kind of a pine tree. <laughs> I'm in a very hummy mood today, I guess. I keep humming. I have the song Yellow Submarine stuck in my head and I don't know why. I haven't listened to the Beatles lately. <laughs> Just a couple of those you need. This may look like purple from here, but it's brown down here. Gotta give them the little stumps peeking out. Okay. And then I make some grass around the lake. Remember, we talked about some of our other ones that it's not just a line it kind of goes up and behind that gives you a better perspective perspective is how you look at things hmm. i need sunshine it's kind of a gloomy day out today so nice big sunshine here i'm just doing a spiral and just keep bringing it in i'm gonna add a little bit of this light orange it doesn't have a name because it's a colorations marker. Hmm, I kind of like that sun. It's a nice looking sun. I'm not going to add any rays to it. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. And then to add some interest up in the sky, I'm going to do my clouds with a little Vincent van Gogh spiral going on. Oop, color on the table. That's okay. They're washable. I'm going to have one peeking out from behind the mountains. So I can't draw the whole thing because the mountain's blocking it. So you can only see behind it. Let me add a little spiral. All right, there is our M. I kind of like that. It's kind of nice. All right, on to N. N, Naomi. I don't know if we can draw Naomi. That might be tricky without seeing her. Um, or Nash. So we can do a nest. Um, how come I cannot think of words that start with N right now? A Niffler, but that's from a movie. I don't know how to draw a Niffler very well. We could do a ninja. Oh, let's do a ninja. I think a ninja would be really cool. So let me think about it. I'm going to get my colors first. That's like a good skin tone. Do we have any black in this basket? Because ninjas like to wear black. So we're going to make the N. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna do the N all in black. And then we're gonna turn it. And I know that looks like a Z now, but that's okay. So I'm gonna kind of make it thicker. Ninja. Okay. And ninjas were all black, right? So I'm gonna make like a backwards C up here. Okay. And then make it a backwards G. And bring down that a little bit. I'm gonna add that. <laughs> this looks so silly. And we're gonna add one more down here for the lines. Ninjas, like an acrobatic ninja, but I mean, most ninjas are, aren't they? So ninjas also usually have black shoes. Yeah, yeah, And sometimes they wear black gloves because you don't want people spying you hiding in the corner. So he's gonna do like a karate chop hand. Hiya. Let's see. <laughs> this is so silly. I love this. This might be my favorite one. All right, and then I'm gonna. Add a little bit of skin color. You can use any color you want to. It can be like a fairy ninja or something. It can be a purple ninja. Little nose sticking out. <laughs> I 
I like this one a lot. All right. We have some sideways artist eyes. Looking out. Let's bring his little cap down a little more. And bring it out. <laughs> oh boy. This might be my favorite one I've ever done because it just looks so silly. His body is so zigzagged. All right, I'm just gonna do that line to show that it's the floor. And you know what? I think this is really good for a ninja. I'm gonna make some lines just to show the cracks in the floor, and the imperfections. Hiya! All right, there's our N for ninja. Okay, on to O. We could do an owl, but you guys already learned how to do owls during nocturnal unit, and I know some of you are still really good at it because I've seen you do them recently. Um, we could do an octopus. <gasps> I want to do an octopus. I love octopuses. I love purple octopuses. So I'm going to do it purple and this really cool hot magenta. Hopefully it works. So let's make our O. Nice big O for its head. Okay. And then octopuses have what? Two legs? Four legs? Six legs? Eight legs? Eight legs. All right. So, and they're kind of squiggly. They kind of go blue, blue, blue all over the place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. That kind of looks like a spider right now, but we're going to change it up. So I'm going to start at the tip and follow it back to make these legs a lot thicker. Because unlike a spider, an octopus's legs are nice and thick. Let's see here. Ooh, that one can go behind that one. Okay, because they don't all have to show either. You can just make as many as you want. You can pretend they're hiding behind. Yep, yeah, so I start at the little point. Go a little wider, bring it up. Wider, bring it up. Ah, super cute. All right. So octopus legs have like little suckers on them. Tentacles. And they're usually like little circles. Ooh, this pink is so pretty. Circles. So I'm just going to draw a bunch of little ooh, circles. Little O's on the octopus. And I'm not covering the whole thing because you're only going to see one part of it and they only tend to coat the bottom side so some of them you might not even be able to see these little suction things I should really look up the term I don't think they're just called tentacles I think they have a little term for that but that's okay that's something we can learn about when we come back we can do one of our research days where we look up all sorts of facts on the internet those are fun days because we learn a lot on those days, just like we learn on the other days too. But just a broader variety. Mine's gonna have them on all of them because I really like this pink with this purple. It's really pretty. And again, you can make your octopus whatever color you'd like. Mm -hmm. I like how that one kind of filled in on its own. That's kind of cool. Very cool. I like it already. Okay, I don't think I'm going to need the pink. Actually, I'm going to save it right here just in case. Um, I'm going to get the black out again because he's going to have two really big eyes because I love animals with really big eyes. They remind me of those animals some of you bring in for a nap with those big sparkly eyes very cute and my octopus is gonna have a long smile he's so happy and then his eyes i think i'm gonna make pink like our artist eyes how you do the little eyes around the pupil oh my goodness i'm gonna grab some blue 
and we're gonna just make wavy water behind. Show he's underwater. Remember, the, if you make a wave, don't put it on top of the octopus because the octopus is in front of it. So you wouldn't see the wave that the octopus is blocking. All right, I'm gonna make a few little fish. I love orange fish, goldfish, koi fish, any type of fish. So I do kind of a bubble and then I continue and make a triangle. So it's just like a an oval and then you just make a little triangle at the end. It's a nice easy fish. Ooh. We're gonna have a little baby one leading the school of fish. It's pretty exciting. I'm not gonna draw a nose on my octopus but because I, I don't think octopuses have nose noses at least in my head they don't uh they don't usually look like this either but this is a fun cartoony one and i really enjoy it nice all right guys that was m n and o i hope you enjoyed it i sure did i love you guys i will see you soon Mwah.